guys so i bought these off of amazon right and i it didn't show like the logo on amazon but i got these basically for like 85 dollars, and these are the it's actually the official gb racing um engine cover see you got your water pump <coughs> cover right uh what else you got I think this is your alternator cover, right? Or oh, it could be your clutch cover. I think it's the other one. This is your what? The secondary pulse cover. Didn't know that. Didn't know that name. Yeah, this is your uh, what you call alternator right here. You can tell because it's on the left side. But dude, it's the actual. Uh, GP Racing brand, and they feel kind of nice, man. It's and I got it for eighty five dollars on Amazon, and you know what they go for, like three hundred something bucks on Revzilla or like eBay. You get them for like two hundred something, or you get like off brand for like ninety ninety something. But eighty five on Amazon, guys. I don't know if you can find a better price. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, but. <clears throat> they said that I got the last one. Don't know. So, yeah. This is for your MT-09, actually. 2021. It'll all fit. So, we also got these, uh, uh, the dashboard, the screen protector. For the screen, right? And I kind of messed up. Can you see that stupid ass air bubble, dude? It didn't even. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, it kind of fits the whole thing. So you get like these side edges and you get the main uh, square. I don't know, guys. Oh, let's look at that new seat, everybody. Bro, I'm in love with this seat. Oh, let me put. You're on the tripod right now. Let me put these legs down. Guys, I'm in love with this seat. Let's push her out a little bit. Get some light under her. So he said to do these covers when your bike is cold, or at least the the water pump, because or else it would just obviously it would spew out from all that pressure. Dude, what is this rain coming into the garage? It's kind of stupid. Hey, everybody. So, what is your clutch cover? Okay. I believe. Yes. Yes. It is. So, you usually want to take, it'll, it'll give you all the directions, okay? You don't want to take all your bolts out. Two dozen cover bolts to retain and replace them the same location. Okay, Scavenger hunt time. Found it. Got it. Figured it out. The direction it is instead of take off this. But I need to take off this. So let's hope it's the same. I saw somebody do this. And uh, it should be. should be the same. And the cover is off. That's for that. That's the bottom. Okay. So with this, you're gonna want to take. Ah, okay. So you're gonna want to put these bolts back. Right. Yeah, and it's raining. 
This is why we can't ride the bike a lot, man. It's just always raining, man. Bolt these back into the into their places. Sure not to cross thread anything. It's like you're high, it's like really high in fiberglass, you know, and it's like 60% of it, and then there's like 40% other, I don't know, it's like different materials. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my freaking frame slider. It was literally just raining. You see this weather, everybody? This weather is weird as shit, bro. by hand first. Just, you know. Tighten it too fucking tight, you know? Like, you guys can feel it, man. If you guys work on cars, you guys just know the feeling of when it's that's tight enough or when it's, you know, 
it's still a little loose. Because my dad owns a shop and I've worked at the shop for like so long. So I mean, oh yeah, you're so cool, bro. You worked at the shop, bro. Shit. Shut the fuck up. Oh, okay, that just comes with the bolts. Oh yeah, so you need to take out anything. Okay, on to the other side. Alrighty, we are back on the other side. I don't know if y'all saw. Here's a close up of uh, the front sprocket cover. It's not too bad. Looks nice. Now, I want. So I took this off because of the, the Walmart tech so that I can have this on. So I can have all of it black, you know. But uh, I'm doing something right now. I can't play right now. Okay. Just wait, buddy. Taking off this bolt. This, this. And leave that. Yeah. Oh, it didn't move, dude. Oh. Two. Ooh, careful to keep that there, right? Bring that back up. Three and four. Okay, you got your two short ones on the left, and then your two short ones on the right. I mean, long ones on the right. Got it. This just wants to slide right in there like that. So you got your long one there. Another long one there. Short one there. And If this can align correctly. This short one should. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta play around with it. Alright, let's tighten these up. Just right here. You're going to remove these three bolts. So, what is it? Bang, bang, bang. Pretty straight, straightforward. Okay, that looks like the short one. Uh, there, there goes some coolant coming out. That's the long one. And that's another long one. Okay. Short one's on the bottom, right, guys? <laughs> I don't fucking remember now. I 
think it is. She dripping now, huh? As long as it doesn't drip anymore. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's all black now, guys. Move it, cart. With all black. You know what? I'm gonna bring her out in the garage. I mean, I'm gonna bring it. <laughs> I'm gonna bring her out into the sun. Cause it's sunny now for some reason. And uh, let's see the seat in the sun. First of all, I'm gonna let me wash my hands Watch out, buddy. Watch out. Why are you still in my way, dude? Alrighty, boys and girls. What is new with the bike? Here's an updated look at her and you, boy. Holy shit. She looks so good now. Guys, guys, I'm in love with her. Look at that seat. Oh, guys, it's here. So this is from, oh, it's a little dusty, guys. Sorry, it's been sitting out. Oh, I've been doing this all. So listen to this, it's so satisfying. And this is good suede too. You know it's good suede when it changes colors, all right? You see that? This is from your Kelpie uh moto custom moto you join if you have an xsr you should join the facebook group the uh, owner sorry guys i'm like <coughs> fucking burping <coughs> the owner jock houston uh he's oh man such a such a nice guy he's the one that did this and my golly like Mm. Makes it look so. F I love this thing now, man. Look at her now, bro. Dude, the seat. I'm telling you, man. The seat, bro. It just makes it now. I got the all black stitching. So, like, when you call it, I mean, when you message him, he'll ask for your weight. You know, all the things that you want. Your your height, because it plays in. You know, because he it lets him know how much foam he's gonna use and. Cause this is not the same foam. So he uses the same base seat of the Yamaha, of, of this bike, right? They get it uh, shipped to their place, uh, their stock seats, and they trim it, right? They trim it at first, and then they'll do all the modifications like that. So I still have my stock seat. And as you can see, let's compare it. It's in here. Like it's like a trophy or something. Look at this guy. Right? 
you can see relatively that it's basically the same. I mean, obviously, dumbass. But <laughs> you can see how the middle of it is raised up even more. Like, you see that? Compared to like no cushioning here. Look how thick that part is. And look how thin this part is. You can definitely see the difference. But you just don't get the strap here. I don't really care. Oh man, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Let's put this back. Nah, I'm just, I wanted to keep the stock seat just, you know, if I ever wanted to sell the bike or if I wanted to like switch up the look sometime or, you know, actually, I don't even know. And you can, so I got the option where I got a new seat and I kept the stock. You can send in your stock seat to him and he'll uh, do everything he wants and he'll ship it back to you. Just like that. It'll be a little cheaper. Uh, if you want to know the price, so just a little, it was pretty pricey. Uh, it was about like a thousand uh, AUD. So it was like nine something. Uh, Australian but uh, kind of converted over it's about like seven six six somethings high sixes low sevens yeah so it's about the same si same price as your Corbin seat in a way um, probably Corbin has more like options maybe but I never really explored with this guy uh, with and with this company um, I just saw something that was on their page that I liked because the guy that had this seat he actually had all the stitching red I said nah I don't like it. I don't really like I don't know if y'all are like me but to me the black and red colorway is kind of just overplayed nowadays and it kind of looks tacky to me kind of like with chrome so you just it's just overplayed nowadays so just have it all black all flat black suede here the leather here Oh man, she looking good as shit. Right there as well, the pooj, pooj foot pegs. I also got this. I think I showed it already, but I'm just gonna update it. Yeah. And the extender, staying on there pretty nicely. Hasn't can't come off yet come on done this is gonna bother me i might have to change that man that's just that's just disgusting like ugh. oh wow i haven't ridden it ever since i put the seat on so don't even i can't even tell you how if it's comfortable or not i mean it's comfortable sitting on it you know just sitting on it but can't really tell you the the rideability of it yet just because it's been raining my neck is still freaking tweaked and i just i don't i just can't ride it man i just haven't been able to ride like my neck oh that's so soft like my neck i can't like uh I can't like look up, you know what I'm saying? So, but like if you that if you put that in this position of riding, I mean like obviously you're not like always tucked in, but like that riding position where you just like put your neck up all the time or some shit. That's too much. Oh, she feels nice. Oh, it looks nice. It looks way different with the covers on too. Oh, that all black. It looks sinister now. I love it. Fuck yeah, bro. I cannot wait to ride this thing. You can go right there, please. Oh, bro. Bro, it's so soft, actually. It's so much more comfortable. Like, I can actually just sit here and chill like this. It's so, it's so nice.
Okay, guys. Peace out.